Hey guys, Kevin here with Mix Coach. I've got a couple of really cool things I want to show you, okay? Now, Melodyne has some really cool things in that you can actually, uh, you've been able to do this for a little while, but you can actually create your shortcuts and you can also search for shortcuts. So let me show you settings and then you go to preferences and then you go to shortcuts. It'll be under miscellaneous probably, but go to shortcuts and then you can actually search for what uh, let's say the the letter C is it's a copy or command copy or it, it's not really assigned to anything but the closest thing is command copy okay so with that I have been trying to come up with a workflow uh, for, for, for doing this now I've created three different workflows and I would like for you to choose uh, what you like about these workflows let me pull them up real quick. Okay, so the first one I have is called Stacked. And basically what Stacked is, I'm going to go in here. You can also import and export your shortcuts. So you go to the, the gearbox here, and then I'm going to hit Open. And then I've got some Melodyne tool sets here. The first one I'm going to show you is called Stacked. Okay, so if we load this Stacked setting here, now my shortcuts are loaded in there. Now Stacked, basically what it is, is... Um, if you look at the A, S, D, F, G, what your left hand would be sitting on normally. So if you hit A, uh, it defaults to this tool here. If you hit Z, it's the zoom tool, okay? I tried to make this as, as cohesive as I could, but basically what I'm doing here is I'm stacking up tools here. So if you'll notice this is uh, the Z and this is A, so basically everything that you'd hit with your pinky is this tool set. Now if you go to the S, it goes to this tool. Now if you, if you click this, you'll notice that uh, one tool is on the top, the pitch tool, and then the pitch modulation tool is second, and then the pitch drift tool is third. So what I did was I stacked them to where W, S, and X would go between those tools. So if you hit W and S and X, they're stacked. So I didn't use the format tool because I don't use that a lot. So I didn't feel a need to do a shortcut to it. Now if you go right down the line, if you hit E, you'll notice E is, a, let's look at these tools. This is, the, uh, this is the amplitude tool, this is the fade tool, and this is a sibilant balance tool. But if you look here, I hit E and D and C, and it goes between those tools. So all you have to really do is remember what the order are, is for each tool and you'll have the shortcuts. Now R is the separate as trill tool. Okay, so if I hit this, this tool here and I hit R, that's the TR, the trill. I put that in there for because I use that quite a bit. If I've got a, a, an unruly uh, modulation, I, I separate it as a trill and then I'll fix it. Um, Okay, so as you can see, this is pretty cool. And the good news is I've got all of these shortcuts ready for you to download. All you need to do is go to the link below and then go there and I will give you all of these sets of tools, okay? Now, let's go to the settings again. Let's load another set of tools in. This one is called the first letter setting, okay? So if we open these, now I've got the first letter and let's see what I've got here. The Q, really not a first letter, but it is the, uh, I, I ended up leaving these here uh, on all of these uh, because it just made sense. The, so the Q, the A, and the Z seem to make sense on all of these sets. So the Q is the main tool, the A is the hand tool where you can move things around, Z is the zoom tool where you can zoom things in. Okay, now I tried the best I could to uh, do first letters. There are a few I didn't, including pitch. So if you hit W, I've got pitch there. And then S is for sibilance. And then X is for separation, because it's usually, uh, usually cut, well, X is separation. Really, uh, <laughs> you know, I did the best I could. Okay, D is for drift. M is, I mean, uh, the C is for modulation. So there's drift and modulation. This may not make sense to you. That's why I'm giving you three options here. The R is still the trill. So if you hit the R, it will separate as a trill. If you hit F, it's the fade tool. 
if you hit V, it's the amplitude tool, okay? So if and feel free to rearrange these two. And also one more, the T is the time tool, okay? Now, uh, so that's way number two. Now I've called this one, this next one is called the switch tool. I'm going to open this one and I'm going to do the switch tool setting, okay? Now this one may be your favorite, it may not be. I'm not sure, this is the reason I did all three tool sets. I wanted to see which one would be the most uh, friendly with my workflow. This is called the switch tool, okay? Now what I did here was I did, uh, if you go ASDF, you'll notice that it pretty much follows that. So ASDFG, it's A S D F G, and now if you hit it more than once, it switches to the next tool. So, so again, Q is still the main tool, A is still the hand tool, Q, um, Z is still the zoom tool. Okay. So moving to the S tool, if you hit it again, it switches tools. Okay. All you have to do is hit S S S, and if you can remember what they look like, then this will be the tool for you. Okay. So D. This is, uh, this is this tool. It goes between all three tools in that stack, okay? F does the same thing here, and then also the uh, G tool is the separation tool. So now all you have to remember, not including the formats, because like I said, I never use it. Now, with these tool sets, the, the reason I restricted myself to only the left hand, what my left hand could reach is because whatever whatever you decide to do you you develop a workflow and now you don't have to move your hand from the mouse or the keyboard you can sit here and just work all day long without moving your hands which will will build a solid workflow so again uh some of these tools will work for you i've got i even included the melodyne normal like the, this is the uh, out of the box preference uh, or shortcut set included that in there also if you want these shortcuts and you think you, you can use them go to the link below um, and download them okay I hope I hope this is helpful and I hope this uh, will um, make you a faster vocal tuner vocal mixer uh, be sure and check out these tool sets and go ahead feel free to edit them and uh, thanks for watching and I will see you soon okay